Thank you. Let's get to CNBC's Juliana Tattlebaum. She's live in our London newsroom with more on that close. Juliana. Scott, how are you? Um, markets breathe a sigh of relief today in Europe after the drama at Credit Suisse yesterday drove European stocks 3% lower. Today, not only were investors digesting the fallout from Credit Suisse, but also the European Central Bank meeting today and delivering a 50 basis point rate hike. That was ultimately in line with what they intended and what the market was expecting. And initially, investors weren't sure what to do. We had very choppy trade throughout the press conference, but ultimately, into the close, we've seen stocks stocks rally. Looking at the banks specifically, we'd swung between gains and losses throughout much of the day, but ultimately the banking stocks ending firmly higher. The bank's index up more than 1%. Credit Suisse shares closing 20% higher after the Swiss National Bank, of course, stepped in with that liquidity backstop late yesterday. Outside of the banks, the worst performing sectors in Europe today, basic resources, oil and gas and telecoms, the only three actually to end in negative territory. On the upside, travel and leisure, tech, retail, household goods performing quite well alongside the financial financial names. Scott? All right. Juliana, thank you so much. That's Juliana Tattlebaum.